Glazers coming out with the smoke and they're all black uniforms led by a group of about 30, well, maybe about 20 or 25 kids leading them out along with Blaze. And well, we're moments away from this kickoff of the quarterfinals of the Division II National Championship playoffs. The winner is two, two games away from going to Florence, Alabama for the National Championship. But as I said earlier, there's not a single person on that field or coaching staff that's even thinking about two yeah, weeks from yeah, now, a week from now. Yeah, that's our job, I guess, to, to uh, put the schools together and see how many games are far apart we are. All these teams are thinking about is one more game, this game right here today, and then after this game, you, you kind of compare the stats and you go on and you face the next team. Tom, you down there? Much Absolutely. And uh, we could hear during the uh, coin toss and the crowd was uh, was noisy. And I think it's going it's, to be a noisy crowd for sure. And I'm glad and it's really nice to see the folks from Carson Newman come down and support their team. Uh, two really classy programs. I, all I can remember, Tom, with Carson Newman, I, I don't remember any uh, West Alabama, North Alabama type uh, events that might happen during the game. I'm not going to say there might be a little bit, but two classic, classy programs. I don't think so either, Dick. And I, I want to uh, tell, tell you and Charles something on the other side. Actually, uh, some of our fans are mixed in on the other side as well to the okay. left. All right. Well, the Blazers will kick it off, and the youngster who also would do our place kicking, Jake Walker, has done a good job uh, put, uh, kicking off this year, and after that first missed extra point last week, he settled down nicely. And then our punter, Dominique DeMasi, who hurriedly drove home from Savannah on Thursday, and uh, the next day he's kicking, or two days later, he's kicking in the playoffs. So here we go, folks, ready to play football. And the ball's in the air. It's a good line drive. Kick's going to drive him back into the end zone, and that's a good kick into the end zone, and they'll take it first and 10 at the 20. What a great kick by the freshman out there. And like you said, I think one big key in last week's game was actually we seen uh, a senior leadership go out there and help him uh, get the, the feeling of kicking that ball. Uh, and that was a key part for this Valosa State defense, or uh, special teams, to help the freshmen out last week. And you're going to have to be careful. You're going to have to, I'm going to, have to watch the football because uh, it's, it's, decept yeah. it's deceptive and quick, and uh, we're all going to have to be on our toes. They're lining up. Those backs are just two yards, three yards off the line of scrimmage, and here we go, folks. Brandon Hayward, the nice quarterback under center, two receivers far side, one near side, two backs lined up. Going to hand off inside, and he right off the bat picks up about nine, seven yards on the play, and just a quick hitter right up the middle, and that was Brandon Baker, their leading rusher. And notice something different about this Valencia State defense. They have 35 German, uh, Jeremy out as a linebacker, close. Same thing, quick handoff inside, and they're going to get the first down on two plays. And the thing is, it's just so quick, you, uh, Tom, you just don't, the, the defenders really, it's going to take them a couple of series to see how fast they are. Like watch it from the backside, it, it, you can see it quick. First 10, quick handoff inside. He's hit right there, and he's not going to get anything. He's going to get a yard this time. Jeremy uh, Pope in there on the tackle. Ryan Smith on the tackle, excuse me, and Tyler Josie in on the tackle. Yeah, I think that's what we've got to do to those guys, Charles, right there, is not let them get a, get a start. Absolutely, and you see the four down linemen, Jeremy Grable, and the linebackers are playing and trying to contain them so they don't get to the outside. This is a great defense, and you can tell Valley State has practiced this a lot this week. Second down and eight. Carson Newman going to throw it out in the flat. They got a guy out there, and he's got a block, and he's going to be tackled just short of the first down, about one yard. So they throw it. Jason Brown, their wide receiver, and picks up, uh, let's say, eight yards, six, seven yards on that play, and made third down and one. I think that shocked Carson Newman just as much as it shocked us. They don't throw the ball a lot. Last week, I think he was perfect throwing the football. They only threw it seven times. I think he well, actually was six for seven, I believe. Third down and less than one yard. And off inside, first down across the 50 at the 49-yard line. One thing that this uh, offense makes you do, it makes you stay home. It makes you uh, commit to a certain player. Once you commit, you got to stay with that player. Second or first and 10 at Valdosta State's 49-yard line. First drive of the game, and right off the bat, they're showing option down the line of scrimmage. He cuts in. He's got room. He's at the 40, trying to run him down from behind. He stays inside, and he's going to get to the end zone for the touch. And they ran out of bounds over here. Back at the 31, or excuse me, 26 yard line. So a big run that time from Brandon Haywood. 
not only did he show elusiveness, he showed some good speed. That's what that option can do to you, too. Once he gets to the outside, he has plenty of options that he can do. Wow, they're just flying down the field like you thought they might. First and 10 at Valosta State's 26 yard line. Haywood with his two backs, two receivers far side, one on the near side of the field. Gonna throw it again out in the flat. They got a guy out there and number six is gonna be run out of bounds, picks up a few yards. Jeremy Grable over there to run him out along. Okay. Excuse me, Matt Pierce over there along with uh, Lance Holder. This offense right here can tire your defense down very fast because they don't give you time to substitute out your line. Second down and six, 12.40 to go in the first quarter. Carson Newman, first drive of the game, driving it. Hand off inside, trying to hold him back, and he's going to be about a yard short of the first down. Ryan Smith on the tackle, along with a couple other players. That's Pope in there, also in on the tackle. You can see how they ran over 90 plays last week, 80-something plays uh, just from the ground. It, it, it's, it's a fast, very fast Oregon-style offense that they're running. Third and very, very short for Carson Newman. They're trying to take an early lead on Valosta State. Handoff inside, first down at about the 12-yard line. The same handoff to Brandon Baker. If both offenses are clicking, and I'm not kidding, this this could be a 50 point, 50 to 50 to 49, or or 60 to 50 something. If both offenses are clicking, and right now they certainly are. Inside 12 minutes, they've had the football three minutes. Another handoff inside, gets it uh, just across the 10, down to about the, well, they're going to spot it right on the 10-yard line. So Jeremy Grable. Grable in on the tackle. This is where Valdosta State defense is really good at. In the red zone right here, you can't run too many plays. This is where the defense for Valdosta State is good. Hayward, quickly. Option on the left side. We got people there. Pope's got a good play at that time by Valdosta State's Jeremy Grable. Fall off the block there, Charles, and then got some help. And he's probably not used to getting uh, slammed to the ground like that, guys. Here's it. It is third down for Carson Newman, third and five or six. That five yards, Rock. Got to get it down to the uh, eight-yard line, keep the drive going. I believe if we hold them to three, that's going to be a, a sufficient stop for this Valley State defense because we can know how the offense can score on this defense. I understand it quickly. Option down line. He's the backfield. He's knocked down back there. Great play for Valley State. 46, Nick. And that is the blazer I just interviewed, Tevin Davis. What a great play. And they'll try the, th the field goal. And that's how you stop that right there, guys. Absolutely. Boy, Tevin, what a play by the youngster. And they will come in to try the field goal. Have a kicker. I think it's 10 out, even 10 of 11. It'll be from the 16 and a half. It'll be about a 26 yard field goal. Waiting for the snap. Snaps there, the holds there. The kick is also there. Really a good job by Valdosta State's offense or defense on that first drive. Absolutely, 13 plays, 65 yards, used up four minutes, 39 seconds. And the two passes, well, the two passes that they threw were lateral, so they threw no passes, uh, forward passes, in that uh, drive that Carson Newman took down the field. So back in the middle, Matt Pierce on the far side is Quinn Robertson. And we flip-flop on this uh, near side, might be Magwood. Line drive, good deep kick's gonna go to the goal line about three yards back. Here comes Matt out at the 10, Matt at the 15, Matt at the 20, Matt at the 30, still on his feet all the way down. There's a flag though. Across the 40 yard line, there's a flag on Valdosta State back at about the 24. And I seen it, I thought that they were gonna throw it. It was a block in the back and, the, and whoever did it, I couldn't get the number, didn't need to block him in the back. That didn't, didn't need to happen. Didn't have to happen guys. That's the only thing I was gonna add. Didn't have to happen. I won't call the number out, but it just didn't have to happen. The They're calling. 25. And big run to the 40. He's going to move it back to the 10 yard line. So Matt took it about three yards deep in the end zone. So let's see if Valdosta State will respond to an opening drive for Carson Newman. Going to go 
To start off with Cedric O'Neill in the backfield on the far side of the field for the Blazers is number Chris, uh, 80 Chris Anderson, and he got the three on the near side. Chris is a replacement for Valdosta State this weekend. Looking, Caden throws out the flag, got a man out there. Cedric has the first down across the 20, I believe. It, Cedric uh, coming out of the backfield. I'll tell you one thing to look at is uh, our three big guys and Gerald Forrest, Shontavious, and then of course we have Quinn Roberson uh, in, in the game today. Quick pace. Guys, that was two. He had one step, one step, one step to throw the ball. He had plenty of time to find somebody. Quinn Robertson and Shontavious on the near side, on the far side. You're going to go Gerald Ford along with Chris Anderson. Going to go empty backfield. Apparently we have a tight end in on over there somewhere. Cade's going to quarterback draw it, looking for some room. There's nothing there. He actually lost two yards. There's no flags have come out. Little motions here off the top of the game. I don't know what that was all about. Well, so, I tell you, number 70, absolutely. number 70 had a guy had blocked to the ground, and he took exception to it and started swatting at number 70, and then that goes from there. Absolutely. This is something that we, we talked about. This is something that we don't need in this game right here. We've seen it last game. We don't need it here, and Coach Dean noted it as well. Cedric O'Neill into the lineup with the lineup with Trent McGuire, the fullback. It's going to be second and eleventh for the Blazers, trailing three to nothing with nine nine minutes and thirty six nine minutes and thirty six seconds to go in the first quarter. Carson Newman leading three to nothing. Give it to O'Neill. Go oh, big hole for a quarterback. Has the first down, I think. What a great fake from Caden Cochran. I thought he handed it off to O'Neill, but he picks up about 11. First and 10 at Dallas to State's uh, 30. Where they got put 33 yard. And Charles, that was that was a uh, deja vu. That was the same thing they do to us right there. Absolutely. You see that hole open up. Two each side of the field. One back O'Neill. Caden fakes it, he wants to throw. He's got a man out there, catch is made. Across the 40, still fight for the first down and will get the first down. Good catch and a good run by Chris Anderson as they drive him all the way back. Let's see where they're gonna spot the football. He back across the 40. I think he got the first down actually and he did. What a great pass. Uh, Caden Cochran getting all the time that he wants. And we're gonna try to just hurry up offense just like they have. 44 yard line, Blazers trail three to nothing, 8.54 to go in the first quarter. Cedric O'Neill in the backfield by himself on the far side. I believe it's uh, Gerald Ford. Throws it back over here and he's hit and a lot of lose yardage that time. Good defensive play by number five, uh, Jared East Brown. As they hit number 80 for the Blazers, Chris Anderson out in the flat. Boy, he did a great job of covering that one. Guys, y'all watch this matchup, though, number one on number one. I promise you we're going to see it going our way today sometime. Actually, no lost yardage. I thought Blazers lost yardage there. <laughs> Second and 10 right at, well, they lost maybe a, a, a quarter of a yard. Clock's at 8 minutes and 15 seconds. Blazers trail 3 to nothing. Two over here in a high formation, one receiver on the far side. Got two backs in there now. Cedric O'Neill is the featured back at this point. Carson Newman's confused on defense. Three down linemen. They jump. And is there a flag on them or on us? I think when they jumped, if we flinched them. Number 70. We did. Five yard penalty on Valdosta State. It looked like they came across the line though on the jump, uh, which I would have thought made our offensive alignment jump. Yeah. Yeah, we just we need to Coop's playing. We got to, he's just playing with a lot of anxiety right now. Just need to settle down. Second and 15 for the Blazers. 7:50 to go in the first quarter, trailing three to nothing. Quickly out in the flat. There's Sean Tavis with the catch. He's across the 50. Going to be about five yards short of the first down, I believe, depending on the spot. And that's a that's a assignment, and that's also a matchup that Tom was just talking about. Shontavious Jones has that matchup all day long. They're going to give him that cushion because he's just too fast and too tall of a guy. It's going to be third and five. Just got to get it to the 45. Ball's marked right on the 50-yard line for the Blazers. Third down. Cedric O'Neill remains. Got three receivers far side. Shontavious on the near side by himself. Cade wants to throw to him again, has the first down. 
And still on his feet, still on his feet, breaks the tackle, gets it to the 38. Boy, he fought off and fought off and almost broke clear of that first and 10 for the Blazers at the 38. And you can see it from ground level. His, his knees just wouldn't touch the ground, wouldn't uh, touch the ground. Absolutely. You see Oliver Davis for this uh, Carson Newman team coming over to number one, Anthony Hooks, and tell him, you got to match out with him. You got to play him closer than you, you have right now. On the far side by himself is Chris Anderson, two receivers near side. Two backs in the backfield. Blazers got a nice drive going. Going to give it to O'Neill. He's trying to get to the corner. He does. Still on his feet. Cross the 30. Breaks a tackle. He's into 20. Down to the 10. Five. And dives at the one yard line. Oh, what a play. What a play. No flags, guys. Cedric O'Neill tried to dive, and thankfully, <laughs> he didn't fumble in the end zone. He fumbled at the one. First down. What a play that was by uh, Cedric O'Neill. I tell you, for him to get to the outside and cut it down the field, it, it, these backs are awesome. Here's Quinn Robertson coming in. Blazers have it first and goal. 6.46 to go. Clock's running. Valdosta State trying to take the lead here. Kane's going to have Cedric in the backfield. In the shotgun. Need a yard. Snap quickly out there and boy what a great defensive play out there on the far side that was just a bullet thrown to Chris Anderson he could not get into the end zone tremendous defensive play Tom. Yeah, about on the uh, Dick about on the one foot line and I'm gonna tell you like this Chris Anderson actually laid on top of the defender and got back up and ran I, back in I, did, I thought they blew the whistle a little early yeah they did see him they down. did and that's what Chris was asking the referee I didn't go down Second and goal for Valosta State inside 10 minutes, trailing three to nothing. Two backs in the backfield. Caden under center, quarterback sneak in. He gets in for the six points. Blazers take the six to three lead with 5.50 to go. What I like about that play, Charles, he gets up there and they go as soon as he gets under yeah, center. No hesitation at all. And you know what Caden Carpenter's going to do. We've seen it plenty of times before. And I just like it. You made up your mind. Let's go. Well, what they do, Dick, they go up like he's changing the play. He goes up to like he's going to tell the lineman, call a different read. And he goes up there and they snap the ball and he goes. Or Here, something like a hard count. Here's Jake Walker trying to make it six to or seven to three. Justin Roberts will hold it. Snaps there, the holds there, the kick is up and it good. is good. Seven to three, Valdosta State with 5.50 to go. Score with five minutes and 50 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Blazers seven, Eagles three. Jake Walker's gonna kick it off here. Blazers lead at seven to three. Both teams score on their first possessions. Another good kick's gonna put him back about five yards deep in the end zone. He's gonna bring him. Now he changed his mind. He put his foot down there at the one and a half yard line. He thought, well, maybe too many black shirts coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You see all the black shirts coming down. You know how Valdosta State hits. You don't want anything uh, up that you don't want to cause a fumble and give them more momentum coming behind them. I'm sorry, Tom. There you go. I'm standing down in the end zone, and, I, and I'm trying to make that same decision. And, uh, of course, I'm going to make it quicker than that young man anyway, but it was a great decision. <laughs> Charles, you got the drive information. Absolutely. That was 10 plays, 90 yards. We used 4 minutes, 23 seconds of the clock to go down the score. I lost the state lead 7-3. As you said, average 9 yards per, nine yards per play. Per play. So here we go. That offense, it doesn't even give you a chance to breathe. Brandon Hayward, a great little quarterback. Two backs there behind him, two receivers. Now they put a tight end in motion to the far side, and there's a flag. They had two men that moved at the same time. Guys. Legal motion, absolutely. And then a cost of five is a false start. I tell you what, we're seeing some quick whistles today. This is a fast referee crew that we have here. Uh, they're getting the ball set, and they're getting out of there. 5.50 to go, Valdosta State 7, Carson Newman 3 in the first quarter. They're back now first and 15 at the 20. The kids are still coming in, Dick, as we projected. Tight end on the, the far side of the field. Going to run it off the left side, and he bounces off some people, and he's tackled there at the line of scrimmage. Andre Larson, there's a ball on the ground maybe? Looked like it. I don't think anybody that a, saw no, it. That was a helmet that came oh, off. Helmet. Okay. Number 66 has, has to go out for the defense. He, his helmet came off, offense, I should say. Uh, Andrew Morriston in on the tackle. Also, I saw in there, I believe, Ryan Smith. It's second and uh, 11. Second and 11 for Carson Newman. Blazers lead 7-3 to three with five and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Haywood under center. 
wants to throw. Look and lift. Look and lift. Those left and he made a great catch over there for the first down. Well, they said he caught. I thought he yeah. landed out of bounds, Dick. Good kid. Nice throw over there in the flats by Jason Brown on the reception. And uh, Brown is at 16 catches. He leads him with uh, six touchdowns receiving. Six out of the seven they have thrown first and ten. Quick hitter inside, and his Blazers hit him right there, and he almost gets away. But then about four, mile, four or five other black shirts. There's just too many jerseys in there, Tom, on those numbers I see. And that's what they talked about at practice. They said we need to tackle, maintain, and then come help me. I'll tell you what, you see a host of Blazers every time to the ball. I, I think we'll give up the pass because they don't pass a lot. We are focused on the run game. Second down, eight. Got Austin State leads seven to three. Option down the far side. He's going to flip it. We got some people out there. He breaks clear and we'll get the first down. Good tackle there by Jeremy Crable. Stopped a longer run, but it will be a first down. Probably yard short. They, they mark them right there. Yeah, they're going to mark it back, so it is going to be a yard short. Just short first down marker. Clocks at 4.25 to go in the first quarter. I think this is being webcast today, and I, I believe if you go to vstateblazers.com, you can watch the game and listen to the play-by-play. -play. Or if not, it'll tell you where to go to to find that. It's on that education channel that they show a lot of, but I think you can go to vstate blazers and get directions how to do that. Blazers lead at 7-3, but they've got another drive going. Quick handoff inside, nothing there. Quarterback kept it this time, and... Well, and he, down, Dick, he did down. not get his fourth down and big fourth down. Big, good defense by Valencia State. They're going to go for it. Well, they're going to jump us off one or the other. They're going to go for it and try to get the Blazers to jump. And you would think they could get this. Uh, it's not even a half a yard. Well, it is. It's about a full yard at most. We're back. Keep inside. And I don't know. I don't think he got it from the line jump. What a great defensive series for Valencia State. They stopped him. About a half a yard short. It looks like they stopped. You're absolutely right. You know right. what that'll do if that is a stop, in fact, guys. It's going to make them have to think about it uh, further on in the game whether they want to go for it in short yardage. They may measure this, but uh, the way the line judges ran in from this side, it is fourth down. I mean, it's, it's first down about Austin State. This could be a big momentum shift right here early in the first quarter of this game. They're going to take a look at it, and, and I agree with this. I mean, it's to me, it's 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 well short. It, it's yeah. well okay. short. I don't know why they're even measuring it, really. And then I don't. Well, they're on television. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's it's a very easy call, really. And one thing you want to do to the referee crew, you want to make sure you get it right. But they, like you said, it's well short. I like them to I like them to do that, Dick, because it gets our crowd yeah. back into yeah. it. Yeah. So a great stop. The Blazers on second down, a third down, and fourth down. They they had barely a yard to go, and a great job by the Blazer front front four there. And that will make them think again. Now I'm telling you guys, they went twice and didn't get short yardage. Uh, maybe make them a punt next time. One thing you do here is you capitalize, and their defense is not really good. We we picked out poison that 90-yard drive that we had last time. Let's see what Valencia State does here. Sean Tavius, Quinn Robertson, and Gerald Ford on the near side. On the far side, Chris Anderson. As the Blazers in shotgun with Ben back, Chris O'Neill is the, Cedric O'Neill is the back. Gonna give it to Cedric, has a big hoe at the 40, breaks a tackle, he's at the 30, the 20, at the 15, the 10, at the five, touchdown Valencia State. Cedric O'Neill takes it 46 yards. He absolutely did, he ran into the clock. Um, and, oh. and seen his head hit that clock hold. He, luckily, he had a helmet on. Goodness gracious, I didn't see it. What a great run. Almost, Charles, maybe the same play as he had the other big run on. Absolutely. If, if they're going to open holes like that for us today, the two backs that we have here, it's going to be a long day for Carson Newman on defense. And in for the all important extra point. And, and Jake's maybe hopefully getting more comfortable. He's, he hadn't missed it the first one last week. Snap and holder, good. Kick good. is also good. Blazers 14-3. Jake Walker, next point attempt is good. Your score with three minutes and 27 seconds remaining in the first quarter. That Austin State leads it 14-3 to three with 327 to go in the first quarter. Another good deep kick is going to be deep into the end zone. He's going to think about it again, and he changes his mind again after he sees all the black shirts coming down there. So another good kickoff from the freshman Jake Walker. And he's upset with himself for the Carson Newman guy trying to come out of the end zone because he's seeing these guys are getting down here way too fast. There is no way I can come out of here and make good yards. I'm telling you guys, standing here right on top of it, you're absolutely right. You just, the decision, you see what's coming, and they've got all the angles covered. You, you, put, you take a knee. 
what a good point that is. I'll tell you what, this Valley State defense, the way that they practice and, and, and the way that, and Tom, you can justify this, you see them in practice, they're starting to narrow in on them. There's a first good. play. Sakes alone. Picked up about six yards on that play. I was looking down, wasn't even looking up there. He good run. Ooh. Excuse me, Dick. You got, I heard that all the way through my headset. It was a big hit. That was Tyrone uh, Douglas. He's a 200-pound running back. Second down in four for Carson Newman. And off same direction. He's going to be hit this time and break some tackles. Boy, that's a hard guy to bring down. We had him stop short of the first down. He wouldn't go down. And I'm telling you, you had some people that could tackle Brian Smith there and uh, Tevin Davis both. He just sort of bounced off of first and 10 at their own 36 yard line. Valhalla State leads at 14 to three with 250 to go in the first quarter. Positive thing, Dick, though, we were there. We, we were there where he was. Absolutely. One thing that you do see in this Valhalla State defense, they are there. Quickly under center, handoff off the left side, picks up uh, three yards on the play. Good. Good tackle, Chris Pope on the tackle or for Valhalla State. Good thing for Valhalla State, they're keeping it inside the tackles. So this is giving us an opportunity to, to pack the box up and get out back there early and often. Second down, seven, 220 to go in the quarter. Valhalla State leads at 14 to three. Hayward wants to throw again. We got him, he's gonna go down. Tackle made there by Andrew Larson. Actually, uh, number, number uh, no. 74, Dick, was in there. Uh, Hunter Chumley was there, yeah, 73, 73 and 74. And Andrew Lawrenston, so it'll be third down and eight for Carson Doom. Got to get it to Van Austin to their own 46-yard line to keep the drive going. Blazers lead 14 to three with 150 to go in the first quarter. Blazers just uh, played well thus far. He may want to throw this time. He's rolling now. Wants to throw. He's going to be hit. He's going to go down. Back at the 26-yard line. I have not played against his speed on defense, guys. I don't think. Tevin Davis with the sack. Charles, I'm not bragging, Tom, but at least two or three guys this year I've interviewed have played their very best football game the next game. Well, we I, want you to interview everybody. I think I think it's the I think it's the blower. <laughs> uh, Ty, uh, Josie was the last one that, uh, that did it for me. Quinn Robertson standing back at his own 38-yard line, waiting for the punt. Had a big return last week. There's the snap. No pressure, bad kick. Quinn's going to fair catch it. No, he's just going to let it bounce and get away from it. Crosses the 40 and bounces right to the 40. So good field position for Valdosta State at their own 40-yard line, leading 14 to three with 54 seconds to go in the first quarter. The great thing about both teams running the football, boys, the game's moving. Absolutely, yeah. That's 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 yeah. the good part about it. The game is moving and it's going to move very fast because they run the ball a lot. And, and like you said, I like what you said too, Dick, is that why throw the ball? We don't need to throw the ball if our run is getting us touchdowns. Absolutely. And the Blazers quickly out and now we got the new back in, Austin Scott, Scott in there. We have seen him. This is the first series. First and 10 at our own 40 yard line. They're going to send a, actually a receiver. It's one of our big running backs who was at, lined up as a receiver. Gives it to the Austin, cuts it outside, trying to break the tackle. And they sling him down. He gets back to the line of scrimmage. Austin's got such a great back for this Valhalla State team. We've seen Cedric O'Neill back there. He has success. So why not try Austin Scott? If both of these backs for Valhalla State have success today, it's going to be a very long day for this uh, defense for Carson Newman. Blazers second and 10 at the 40. Caden, he's looking to throw this time. Looking down the field, over the middle. It just made, Gerald Ford has the first down at the 36, 37 yard line. First down for the Blazers. And guys, they brought in, they swept, they flip flop number one and number three to guard stretch. So they made a change, but they haven't made a change in the height. They're uh, in stretch, uh, after he got stretched out and uh, was wide, wide open downfield too. First, first down for Valhasta State. With uh, that'll be the final play of the first quarter. Blazers lead at 14 to three. Blazers with the football, first and ten. Carson Newman's uh, 38 yard line. Blazers lead at 14 to three. First play of the second quarter, going towards the west, uh, east end zone, left to right, as they're moving. Kate, gonna throw this time. 
looking. All kinds of time over the middle. And Austin Scott with the catch picks up good yardage, picks up uh, one, two, three, about, well, let's say five, six maybe. Yeah, about six yards. That was a great throw by Kayla Cochran as well. He's getting a lot of time from his offensive line. And I tell you, the next thing that's going to happen, uh, Stretch is going to do like he did. This guy's giving Stretch about 15 yards, it looks like. He's going to go there and stop short and turn around. Second now for Valdosta State and five, leading 14 to three, just underway in the second quarter. Caden quickly out in the flat two. Big stretch, he makes the catch and gets the first down. <laughs> what hands do he have? He has some great hands to follow that ball, bring it back in, get the first down. First and 10 for Valdosta State at the 30, at the 26 yard line. I hate it when I call a play, guys, if it works. <laughs> Quentin Robertson's gonna come to the far side with Gerald Ford and Chris Anderson. We're gonna give you one more shot, Tom. Call this play. Uh, yeah, well, we're just gonna get a, we're gonna get good yardage this time, but not the touchdown. Good, plenty of room on the far side. Two shot, Tavius. Gonna run it inside. Nate read that one perfectly. Blazer is really first negative play of the day. Yeah. Chris Anderson's actually filling in for uh, Valdosta State. Reggie Lewis, who uh, has, was suspended for one game, no secret, it's in the paper. That's all we're going to say. 13.40 to go in the first half. Blazers lead at 14 to 3. Have it second at 11 at uh, the 27-yard line in Carson Newman territory. Here comes the touchdown, I believe, on this play right here. Sean Tavis down there with single coverage. Probably got a safety over there that's looking that way to help if needed. But if needed, sometimes it's too late. It's the throw. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Holy cow. Get rid of the ball. And all that time, and then you got to throw the football away. Got to live to see another day. You got all that time back there. Please throw the ball away. The worst that can happen, and, you go and, back to the line of scrimmage. And guys, look over here next to me on the 10 yard line. That's how wide open. I mean, Gerald Ford was down here with no one. Big loss that time. Blazers now set third down at 22 with 12.50 to go in the first half. Blazers with the lead. Have had the ball twice, have scored two touchdowns. And that takes out a field goal position for, uh, for us. The defender is 10 yards off of Shontavious Jones on the far side of the field. Caden, plenty of time, wants to go towards it. Got a man down there! Knocked away, great defensive play. Tremendous play from Oliver Davis, the defensive back. Shontavious had a couple of yards on him, just slightly under throw. There's a big uh, deal right here. Let's see what we can do. If, is Coach D going to trust his defense to, to come back on if we don't convert this fourth down? I think you got to punt it. Yeah. Guys, that ball was a little bit, Dick said it uh, for sure, it was a little bit on the throne. I mean, Stretch had him and had to kind of lean back to get the ball. So here's Dominique Demasi, who did a great job last week. Of course, this job this week is just to get it down there and a high kick, good snap. High kick, boy, he did. That's a high That's kick. That's beautiful. That is a high kick, and it's going to be what a good play down there inside number, the. And there's a flag. Number 14. What's the flag for? Because he went inside the end zone and he came back out the first one to touch the ball. Alex, I don't know that I've ever seen that. I don't know that that should be a penalty. Let's wait and see. I'm confused. Wow. Blazers had 12 men on the field. They'll repunt it. No, it's, it's actually on the defense. So that we, we still want that penalty. That's a decline penalty. So it goes against Carson Newman. We no, we want the ball inside the five. Absolutely. Charlie. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Uh, my fault. They, they, I, I was looking. Yeah. First down at the two yard line. What a great play, and that's uh, that was Alex Webster, Tom, that made that play down there. Absolutely, but I didn't. I thought you can go. Uh, you no, can it go wasn't. Yeah, come out. No, you can. No, I thought that. I thought that was the only thing that happened. That's the only thing I see happen when you threw the flag. I, I, I was as confused as everybody else. Now, there was 12 men on the field. The penalty was on Carson Newman, and it's on the three yard line, guys. First and ten for Carson Newman at the three. Blazers lead at 14 to three with 12 19 to go in the first half. They bring a guy in motion. Set him on the, his near side of the field as a tight end. Two backs, of course, right there, which they always do. Long, long count here. 
Quarterback's going to hand it off. He breaks a tackle at the 20, the 30, the 35. We run him out of bounds. That's just, there's a flag. I don't uh, I don't think that was a late hit at all. That's going to cost the Blazers 15 more yards, I think. One thing we got to do, Matt Pierce has to tackle. He, he was trying to strip the ball and strip the ball. After a certain amount of yards, I believe you have to tackle. Um, and, and, and that's one thing we felt to do. Oh, and that's their reference on Carson Newman after the big run. I was thinking well, they're going to go with us too. I wasn't going to say much, but I saw that, and I didn't know they were going to get. But I saw that happen, but I didn't know they were going to call it because our guy went like he went over <laughs> a little bit out of bounds. But I just kept my mouth shut. First and ten for Carson Newman. All me and D, me and Dick saying we said, oh, well, we thought we were going to get that one. So big run though gets him outside of out away from that three yard line. Twelve minutes to go in the first half. Blazers lead at fourteen to three. Brandon Hayward, their quarterback, brings a guy in motion again, sets him as a tight end again on this near side of the field. They're going from uh, right to left. Handoff inside, nothing there this time. He falls forward for a couple yards. This offense is so tricky for Carson Newman. You never know where the ball is at until the play is dead. You just got, you can't call it too quick. That's the thing. Watch, watch 74 and 86 on our defense. They are, they are causing confusion because they're standing their offensive linemen straight up. Second and eight for Carson Newman. Blazers lead at 14 to three, 11, 20 to go in the first half. Option down the line, he pitches. We're trying to run him down from behind and he turns the corner, has the first down. Had some good speed there in the number three guy, uh, Oliver. Not three, it's 30. 33. 33. That's uh, Andy Hibbett. Andy, Andy Hibbett, a running back, six foot, 200 pound sophomore. He's the fourth leading rusher on this team with 622 yards. That's the fourth leading rushers, first down at their own 34. Watch that throw. He does so. Tip. Good defensive play from Valdosta State. Number that, 42. It was uh, Isaiah Gresham. They tried to hit the pass to number four, Stephen Isom. And that was wide open right there, too. That, that quick fake that he's going to pitch it out, and he threw it downfield. That would have been wide open if uh, that play would have converted. Brandon Hayward hits much zip on it. When he tipped it, we had a blazer back there, but it went five yards past him after it was tipped. They never huddle up under center. Two receivers on this near side, the press box side of the field going from right to left. Blazers lead at 14 to three, 10 55 to go in the first half. And he's gonna be sacked and go down from the outside. A good play there. 86 and then 31 finished it off. That's Lawrence Virgil with the sack. From no, the no, Dick. 46. 46, that was uh, Tevin Davis again. Tevin Davis is having a really good game. Yeah, and that's the guy that you spoke to uh, before the game. This offense for Carson Newman has to realize they don't have a lot of time. This defense for Valley State, they haven't seen one like this, and it's a quick defense. Third down and right at 10 yards to go. They've thrown the ball a little bit more probably than they wanted. They bring a receiver in motion, set him on the far side of the field. Quarterback rolling that way, wants to throw downfield, and he does. Boy, what a great catch and a great throw. Did he catch that? Number six, Jason Brown turned just as the ball got there, and the Blazers could not really have had it covered any better. Dick, I was going to repeat that right there. I mean, uh, I would ask our defense to do that every time. Yeah, you can just say great job both both sides, really. The, the, number, the number six over there, uh, Jason Brown, he turned when the ball was, it couldn't have been more than a foot away from him, it seemed like to me. Ten minutes exactly to go in the half. Blazers lead 14 to three. Handoff off the right side and gets about four yards on the play. And that was number 86. No, <laughs> guys, that's, that's number Davis. 46. Tevin Davis again. Tevin said plays at the left defensive end slot. He's getting a lot of work in today because Tevin is reading those plays really well. He's staying home and staying committed. This drive started at the three. Run it off the other side and breaks a tackle, has the first down at Mount Austin State's 37 yard line. One thing that this offense does do is they don't huddle up and they're tiring down our defensive line. And they, they run it down to about 10 seconds. I mean, they just like hovering right now. First and 10 at the 37 yard line going towards the west end zone. Right to left. 
Haywood handoff inside. Now he keeps it, and he's going to be hit and stopped after about a yard, maybe two at the most on the tackle for the Blazers. And in number 20, he's running off. I Pope and Ryan his, Smith. Grabbed his leg there. Second down and uh, eight. Clock running. Boy, that's what we like. This has been a heck of a fast game. 8.50 right now in the first half. Blazers lead 14-3. This drive started at the three-yard line. But they have methodically, which is what this offense does, moved it downfield off the right side and gets down to about the 31. So here's another big third down. This, Carson Newman. This team and Carson Newman just find the little holes. You never know who has the ball. They get yardage quickly. Quickly to the line of scrimmage. Quick play, handoff right side, and he's going to be just short of the first down again, I believe. And now another decision for Carson Newman. You see the Blazers switching out that defense really fast, getting them in and out. Got to get off the field. And they do have the first down. And you got there's a flag here by the line judge. We had three people judge. on the field. There's no way in the world three, we were getting off field. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Three, six, nine, ten. I see eleven. Yeah, when the when the play was gone, we had 40 people on the field. It is a first down. Tried to get the subs in there, and I don't I don't disagree with that at all, Tom, because those guys have been on the field a long time. Yeah. yeah. The only way you're going to get a substitution probably is to call a timeout. So they're down inside Blazer territory to 23. Blazers with the 14 to 3 lead. Need a stop with that defense. Number 43. Good tackle that time from Chaz Matthews. Got some help and he picks up three yards on the play. Clock's running. 7.45 to go in half. Alasta State with the 14 to 3 lead, but Carson Newman has a great drive going. Alasta State stopped him the last time. Has some room, gets down close to another first down, and Got looks it. like he does have the first down at about the 13-yard line. And I, Brandon and, Haywood. And our defensive guys, our big guys are down here on one knee just grasping right there. Yeah. Right yeah, yeah, I can only imagine. Quarterback off the right side at the 10, the 5, and trying to get to the end zone and does not get there, but he's at the 1. At uh, Haywood gets it down to the one yard line. Clock's running 721. They'll move the change and start the clock first and goal. So this has been a, this will have been a 97 yard line, 97 yard drive. Gonna be a timeout, I believe. On By us. Us to stay with the lead, but Carson Newman's staring at a 97 yard drive. It's first and goal at the one yard line for Van Austin State with the Blazers in that 14 to 3 lead. And Andre Larson gets in late under center. Right side handoff, touchdown. Carson Newman makes it 14 to 9. That's a great drive. Had, had a couple of chances. The big play of the drive, Charles, was the pass, the third down pass on the far side. Absolutely, that one right there, and then of course the uh, substitution for us in fraction, and uh, give them another first down to keep the drive open. They don't. Uh, they shift into that uh, extra point formation after lining up outside. This to make it 14 to 10 with 7:11 to go in the half. Snap. Wait, wait, wait. There it is, and it's up there, and it's through. 14 to 10. This game has advertised 14 to 10. The Blazers lead with 7-11 to go in the first half. Matt Pierce in the middle of the field waits the kickoff. Wind's going that way, so that's uh, probably we'll not get a chance to return it, although we absolutely will from the three-yard line. There's Matt. Trying to get outside, he's at the 10, trying to get to the corner, and he's not going to get there. He's going to go to about the 14, 13-yard line. So uh, Paul carried a little bit farther than Matt Pierce thought, Tom, and uh, not able to get a whole lot. Yeah, he was he was thinking about it. He looked and uh, thought he saw a seam on this right side, and uh, we're on the 12-yard line. So see how the Blazers respond here to that touchdown. Reggie, or excuse me, uh, Sean Davis goes to the far side along with Chris Anderson. 
Gerald Ford over here by himself on the near side. Quinn Robertson also on the far side. Blazers with the four-point lead, 14 to 10. Austin Scott with it, trying to go outside, and they're going to bring him down. He's going to lose yardage about four yards on the play, so all of a sudden, this uh, defense for Carson Newman has played well. Yeah, absolutely. The defense is playing well so far right now. Again, you got another helmet coming off for the Carson Newman team, number 78. He has to go off the field for a play. But this uh, defense is starting to buckle down a little bit. I would like to see the passes coming out now and then work back into the run the game. For the Blazers, Cedric O'Neal, who's had a great game thus far, he is the back now, second and fourth, second and 13. Okay, he does want to throw out in the flat. Got Robertson out there, and he gets to the at the 20. Going to mark it on the 19. Quinn Robertson. So now the Blazers facing a big, big third down because the uh, momentum has gone back to Carson Newman's side. When Valdosta State had taken a 14, had scored 14 unanswered points, they would respond with a 97-yard drive. Have we gone deep yet? No. We tried to go deep in the end zone, but it was tipped away by the helmet of a Carson Newman defender. Sean Davis over there, got a 5'9 cornerback covering him, but he made a great play the last time. That's good throw over the middle, and Blazers wanted to flag, they don't get it. And it'll be fourth down, Valdez State's gonna have to punt it. And the bad thing about that is, a uh, punt's one thing, but uh, defense has got to come right back on the field. Absolutely. For them, number six, Jason Brown back to return on the punt. He's, they should get good field position. Going to need a big punt from Dominique Damasi, the Blazer freshman. Good snap. It is a rugby kick and went right to the defender and he made a nice play there. He's sitting, there's a flag comes in. And why, why is that they, a flag? No. He th he's going to say he called for a fair catch? What's he going to call? He was on the ground. He couldn't be calling for a fair catch. But that's going to cost about our state of penalty, I believe. Unless uh, we get some help here. Let's wait and see. They're going to call it on Valdosta State. There's no doubt. It's going to be 15 yards. He threw it because the guy was on the ground and Kaspari landed went on top of him. And that, to me, it's just a football action. But here we go. The momentum is on the Carson Newman's side at this time. 5.51 to go. Blazers defense has been uh, had a 97 yard drive and they have a first and 10 at Valdosta State's 32 yard line so it's been a, a game of momentum back and forth Haywood under center and off off the right side Big O breaks a tackle and he's going to take it into the end zone for the touchdown to give Carson Newman a 16 to 14 lead touchdown carry for number 20 Brandon Victor. I'll tell you what uh, when it comes down to it the offense, once we get on the field, we have to score. We know this team and their offense, they score a lot as well. Our defense is very gassed right now. That run by John Brandon Baker, and this to make it a three-point lead, 16 to 14 right now, Carson Newman. Waits for the snap. Oh, kick, all of it's good, 17 to 14, Carson Newman. It's really the kind of game we expected back and forth. Both teams, good offenses, defenses. Both teams have played well at times. Carson Newman has struck with a 97-yard drive, then a one-play drive. Need a big special teams return here from Matt if we can get it. Line drive kick, and I think he's just going to let that one stay back there in the end zone. Blazers will take a first and 10 at the 20. And the Blazer offense, the last uh, series for sure, and I'm not about the, sure about the one before, have not done much, I believe. Yeah, it was the last series and the series before. You're absolutely right. The last series that we had, uh, we, we didn't get past our 20. And the series before that, we were down on their 40, and we still didn't go uh, very far. And, I, and our offense uh, should be rested. 
absolutely. Quinn and Sean Davis go to the far side. Cedric O'Neill's the running back. Gerald Ford, excuse me, Gerald Ford and Chris Anderson on this near side. Blazers need a drive here. Gonna run out of the pocket and throw it, had to throw it away because he was being harassed back there by number 91, Jarvaris Neal. So they're starting to, they've gotten a little pressure, uh, Tom, on, on uh, the last couple. Yeah, they're doing, and they're coming from the outside too, uh, which is surprising actually. 5.39 to go in the half. Blazers trail 17-14. We have to get back to what got us here, guys. You know, the run game and uh, being a little calm and, and getting the ball downfield. Second down for Caden. Over the middle. Intercepted at the 30. At the 20. There's a flag at the 23. Caden threw it right over the middle. Great interception by Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaac Kinley. There is a flag, and more than likely, it's a hold. Personal foul. Built the off out of State, so here's Carson Newman. Got it in Blazer territory deep again at the 22-yard line. So the Blazers, who looked so good early on, have really been struggling. Called up. Called a face mask on number 72. Or yeah. something. Hands to the face, the legal hands to the face. I tell you what, we looked like this last week as well. You know, the first half we came out and it was a sluggish battle, and then somehow, some way, we went into the locker room. Some talk went along, and uh, we came out as a totally different team in the second half. Well, this is a big turnaround right here. Carson Newman, a chance to increase on their 17 to 14 lead was 529 to go in the half. And they have moved the ball at will the last two series. Off the right side, and he's got a bunch of Blazers there. Stop him after about a yard game. Whole bunch of Blazers in on the tackle. This is where our defense is going to have to step up and, and uh, help us out, help the offense out, and try to get off the field. Second down and nine, five minutes and five seconds to go in the half. Blazers now trail 17 to 14. At one point led 14 to three, but back-to-back -to -back touchdowns from Carson Newman. Now they've got an interception for a turnover right here. Hayward under center. Off the left side, nothing there. The guy fighting for yardage. They blew the whistle. Blazers heard it. Tyler Josie was one of the guys in there. There's a whole bunch of other. Now here's a big third down play. Huge third down play. For Carson Newman. Hold him to a field goal. Clock's inside four and a half minutes as we approach the end of the first half. And Blazers got off to a great start. Plays great defense, some good offense. But the last uh, few series has been all Carson Newman on both sides of the football. Third down for Haywood. Keeps it, hit, trying to get away, won't. Now they'll have to think a field goal or not. They've got a good field goal kicker. He's field goal kicker. He's 10 out of 11 for the season. And they've got fourth down, and it looks like that's what they're going to do. This will be spotted at the... 22-yard line, be a 32-yard field goal. He's on the right side there, not right on the hash mark on the right side. This to give him a 20 to 14 lead. Here's a big play. Snaps there, holds there, the kicks up. Good, looks good right down the middle. 20 to 14. Austin State now has faced uh, 17 unanswered points. The Blazers were leading 17 under unanswered points for Carson Newman. Valdez State had a 14 to three lead. Now it's all of a sudden 20 to 14. But uh, that was a really good defensive stand for the Blazers. It was uh, just to hold them to three points. That's a big old. Uh, that's a big change right there. From plenty, of, plenty of time for the Blazers. 3:27 to go in the half. Blazers do all, will also receive the second half kickoff. The 
winds in favor in the kickers this way, and so Blazers have not had a chance. There's a short kick. Don't be returned. Matt Pierce has it at the 6. Matt at the 10 to 15. Cuts outside, spins, and gets to about the 17, 18-yard line. Instead of kicking it into the end zone, they uh, kicked it short, and it worked out nicely for them. They're going to spot it at the 16. I got a question, though. That, what's any different than their guy coming and hitting Matt after the play on Absolutely. the ground and the other one down there? Absolutely. I, I agree with you totally on that one right there. That same question went through my head <laughs> at the time where I seen him hit him once he was on the ground. All right, this blazer, this potent blazer offense has been stymied the last yes. three possessions, and Caden Cochran's got to get him going. They're going to go uh, Cedric O'Neal in the backfield. Shot Tavius on the far side, three receivers on the near side. Blazers trail 20 to 14, 320 to go in the first half. O'Neal with the ball, has a hole, trying to get the corner. He does, he's at the 30, 35, almost to the 40. There comes a flag flying in way back there. Yeah, you see the face mask coming in. I hope it's a face mask. It, it is. You've seen his head turn. You've seen the face mask. I thought the side judge, the line judge was going to call it, but the, the back judge did call that. Yeah, they did call it. Well, he threw that thing from 30 yards. Well, you couldn't help but see it from this angle. You look like me out there throwing it about 30, 35 yards. I couldn't throw it that far, though. Hey, wait a minute. Not 35. <laughs> Moves all the way into their territory, the 47. So Cedric O'Neill has had the hot hand today rushing the football. And Austin, uh, Austin uh, Scott had only been in one series or two series, but uh, they sort of had him under control. But I expect if he's back in the game, he will exert himself. Blazers going to go three receivers near side, one on the far side, Sean Tavius over there. O'Neill with it again, has hole again to 45 to 40, 35, 30, 25, all the way down inside the 25 at about the 22-yard line. And that's what's working, so why not keep going back to it? He looked like he's having a big day so far. I wouldn't go away from it until they stop it. I mean, they're not even close to stopping it, Charles. If you got the hot back, he's the hot back right now. Cedric O'Neill having a great first half. 2.36 to go in the half. Blazers trail 20 to 14. Have a great drive going at Carson Newman's 22-yard line. Blazers going from left to right. Cedric again off the right side. He goes to the left side, trying to get there to 15. Stays in bounds at about the 12. 14 yard line. I'm going to go ahead and say Cedric O'Neill is well over 100 yards right here in this first half. First quarter alone, he, I believe he had 83 yards in the first quarter alone. 218 to go in the half. Blazers trail 20 to 14, but got a great drive going at Carson Newman's 14. Two minutes and nine seconds to go in the half. Caden with it at the 10. Caden trying to get outside and gets inside the 10. Gets the first down to about the 8. Good Double tackle out there in the flat by Tarvin Jones, the the defensive and back. First down. And here's when, here's when you go ahead and give your back the ball, Cedric O'Neal, and thank him for getting you this far downfield. Let him get the touchdown. First and goal for Valdosta at the 8, trailing by 6. I thought he went out of bounds, but the uh, clock's moving. Blazers with plenty of timeouts. They've got two. Going to give it to O'Neal. He stops, cuts inside, gets to the five, and that's about it. Right at the five-yard line. It'll be second and goal for Van Osta State at a minute and 30. Clock's running. Blazers trail 20 to 14. You see that they can't stop your running game if you're Van Osta State. You continue to do it, um, and you get down here, and you actually – just running down the throat and try to get that uh, second down and goal that the five yard line for Valdosta State. Plenty of time. Cedric O'Neill remains the back in there. We're going to go tight end. We're going to bring a tight end. One of the running backs play as a tight end. Caden Cochran. Down two yard line. At the two yard line, it's going to be third and we goal. To get the ball carrier, he carries down to the two yard line. This could be a big change. Uh, we need to get in this end zone. We don't need three. We need to get in the zone. We got the the centers us. down. Yeah. Jake's down, and the clock's running, guys. We just uh, why don't the officials uh, give us a whistle? Here. Do something here. I mean, we've already out. we've already run 22 seconds off the clock, and it's still running. I mean, we're down to 29 seconds. Caden with the snap. He's going to keep it. Caden's not going to get in. And he fights in. Does he get in? Oh, they're going to mark him down at the one. 
They're going to mark him down. Blazer's going to call timeout. There. I didn't even see him go down, but I see the ball across the plate. Now, Coach Dean does not like Tom to give up opportunities for points, but boy, that's so intriguing right here. Fourth and goal at the one. We're going to keep it right here with 16.9 seconds to go in the half. Valdosta State has it down at the goal line, at the goal at the one. We thought Caden stretched it across the goal line, but I, apparently I his thought, knees were down. I thought so myself. I think I hear Tom. Bubba. Yeah, that he was in. I mean, that was, uh, anyway. Bubba gave a picture of that one. Bubba got a picture of it. So here we go. I've got a feeling Coach Dean's going to go for it, uh, Charles. Yeah, I, I would too. Especially since we're going to get the football to start. I, the absolutely. Half. You got 16 seconds to go. You want the momentum on your side. You score game here on the fourth down. Before the coach call timeout, please reset the game clock to 14.9 seconds. 14.9. Thank you. Of today's game on the and State is going to line up see if we can punch this thing in here. Be seen in at 12.30 p.m. and 11.30 p.m. And we're going to go no running backs. We're going to go Caden Cochran under center. And they want a timeout. Carson Newman does. Timeout. Carson Newman. All right, Blazers are going to go for it. Carson Newman called the timeout. They want to see what Valdosta say. We went in with, there with no running backs and now we're going to come back in with Cedric O'Neill, but they went in with Caden Cochran, going to go under center, and their coach is sprinting for a timeout. So the crowd's up on both sides. Going to go under center, quarterback sneak, and no signal. He did not get in. Tried a quarterback sneak it, and they stopped him short of the goal line. The Blazers, and there's 10.7 seconds to go in the first half. So a huge, huge play. Inside the one-yard line. There's a huge stop right there for uh, that Carson Newman defense, uh, a defense that we said that you know, coming into this game, they give up a lot of scores. They give up a lot of offense. They are getting prepped the last few possessions. They have, uh, well, that is a good drive for the player. Just came up, you know, a yard, half yard short there. And uh, it was a full yard, so maybe a little bit surprised we went with the quarterback sneak. I thought, I mean, I, I, I'm going to truly be honest. I thought Katie Carkin got in the first time because he limped the ball over the end zone. But now they're going to have to hand, I, well, their quarterback is in the end zone. Quarterback sneak just gets it out. And, That'll run it out, and we cannot get an interview with Coach Dean, but we're going to go the half trailing 20 to 14. So teams are back out. We'll see if we can get a good kick return. Uh, the wind has uh, it's blowing pretty well, Pierce Tom, from uh, east to west. You east see to those? west, yeah. And that's why most of those kicks are going into the end zone. So uh, the Blazers actually will be going into the wind this quarter. And I don't think it's a, a horrible win, but uh, and the way the Blazers have been running the football this afternoon, let's see if we can get that going. The win doesn't matter. It's always interesting. I thought the Blazers, you know, if you notice on their kickoff team, it's it's the receivers, it's the running backs. It's, you got Justin Roberts out yeah. there, a third back a quarterback, you know, so it's not the big guys out there. It's it's what you typically would probably call your hands team. Yeah, absolutely. Your, your quick hands team. Uh, you're absolutely right about that. Look at how much time this kicking team uh, for the Carson Newman take. They they let the clock run down to parts like the 10 second mark, and then they kick the ball off. He's taking him time. He's done a good job tonight, Chris Duncan or Kurt Duncan. He's a junior from Morristown, Tennessee, and I think he's about ready. Matt standing at the goal line. He's not had a really good opportunity to return one. And this time he will. It's going to be returned from the one yard line. Matt at the 10 to 15. Stops, cuts inside at the 20, and gets back to the 22, 23 yard line. Picks up about uh, two or three yards more than, well, actually about three yards less than we would gotten by going into the end zone. But you never don't want to return if you had the opportunity. Let's see if the Blazer offense can have a drive like we ended the first half. Only punching in. Here comes Caden Cockrett out. Shontavious Jones going to the far side. O'Neill's going to be the running back again. 
Quinn Robertson and Chris Anderson going to go to the far side and leaving single coverage over here on number 19, Gerald Ford, who has been pretty quiet other than one catch. And it is single coverage on him. Going to run it with O'Neal. Cuts and not going to get anything. Gets a yard, maybe gets the line of scrimmage. So good job from that Carson Newman defense. I'll tell you one thing that Carson Newman defense is starting to do a lot more of right now is they're bringing the linebackers, pushing them back a little bit past the five-yard mark. Uh, because they were bringing them up closer at the beginning of this game. Those front five for the Blazers, they got to, we need them to live up to the the way they have played this year. They've got to start uh, giving us some, some big holes here. Quickly out in the flat and good catch incomplete. Gerald Ford, that pass was thrown behind him, so the Blazers facing the third and nine. I'll tell you one, one thing. I like this coming out and trying to pass and things of that nature. You have to test, uh, I, I believe, you have to go back and see what Cedric O'Neal can do for you. He got you 143 yards in the first half for a reason. One back, Blazers should have need nine yards to keep this drive going. They're going to have to give it right back to this uh, very dangerous Carson Newman offense. Caden wants to throw, forced out of the pocket. And he's going to be sacked back there. And Blazers back to punt it from the end zone. That's his second sack. There's a flag, flag right here, here, line I'm of scrimmage. Sure. Not sure what. They're going to call it, I think, on number 72 for holding. Uh, normally, you're not going to get it from over here, Tom, I wouldn't think, but we'll see. Yeah, usually is the umpire or somebody Maybe else. offside. That's another hands to the face on Valosta stage, Meshwokamadi. That's the second call he's gotten today. So not the half Valosta State wanted to start. The penalties declined, of course, but uh, they're going to have great field position. So right now, little Valosta State, I think, out of sorts just a tad. They're going to get great field position. Number six there, Jason Brown, standing at the 50-yard line. Need a big punt. Probably do that rugby punt. There's the snap. Now it's going to be a straight-on punt. Boy, he almost got to it. High punt. He's going to fair catch it and make the catch at the 45. That's a gutsy catch right there because that thing was wobbling. That, and that punt, Tom, may have been close to getting blocked. I tell you what, I did not. I saw very little separation between that guy's fingers and that ball when it came off his foot. So it'll be first and 10 for West, or not West Alabama, for Carson Newman at Valdosta State's 46 yard line. So this Blazer defense is going to be challenged right off the bat. Trailing 20 to 14, went three and out on our first possession. Quick handoff up the middle, pitch at the last moment. They turn the corner and it's going to run out of bounds, picks up about eight yards on the play. And that's uh, Tyrone Douglas and, and Chris Pope held up. Uh, but not didn't hit him out of bounds, which I'm glad. Second and two. And off inside has a hole, has a room, just fights forward, and it's just hard to tackle them. They they've got a they're just right now shoving Valdosta State down the field, Tom. Uh, absolutely, Dick. Uh, we're, we're not uh, we're not firing off. We, I'm, I'm gonna watch it again. Can't wrap up. It seems like they got a, uh, two or three players in front of the running back as he's getting downfield. First and ten for Van Oster, or for uh, Carson Newman. And off quarterback keeps it this time. He's going to go down. Going to lose a little bit, not much. Tevin Davis, one of the guys in there on the tackle and helping him up. Ryan Smith for the Blazers. Ryan Smith and uh, Tyler Josie. Actually, it was Tyler there. Josie. It yeah. wasn't uh, Tevin. Second, and, uh, actually, they gave him a, got a yard. Second and nine. Clock's running. 13 minutes to go in the third quarter. Blazers trail 20 to 14. Got the opening drive of the second half. Went three and out. He wants to throw pressure. Avoids a sack. Pitches at the last minute. And a good play out there by Ryan Smith. He gets to the, about the 25-yard line to be third down. Big third down play right here. If we kill them here, I think they're a little bit, probably, if we get them uh, right in the same spot, I don't know if he can make it from here. I know he has a pretty good leg, though. And he does have the wind going, so the question is to get the stop here. Has to go down to the Blazer 17-yard line to keep the drive going. Brandon Haywood. Going to throw, he does throw, and oh, he was it, but intercepted, except he underthrew it. And we slid down. Looked Number like 42 he almost slid took down. a knee. Tom, if you've seen it down there, it looked like he almost took a knee where, where he was at. I don't know if he was trying to kneel down the high behind the line, but it was close to his knee yep. being down. Yeah. 
So here's a field goal. It'll be a 41-yarder. This the kid has kicked two over 50, Charles, so he's certainly got the leg. And this to give them a nine-point lead. He's ready, waiting for the snap. Snap is there. The hold is there. The kick is plenty of distance and right down the middle to make it 23-14. Well, the Blazers once again trailing 23 to 14 with 12 19 to go. Need to make something happen offensively. There's a good deep kick's going to go to Matt Pearson. He's just going to take a knee back there, and the Blazers will have a first and 10 at the 25 yard line. And the last, uh, other than the drive just before the half, the, the last few series in the first half, in this first one this half, Tom, uh, is not, not typical of VSU. It's just not typical, and I just uh, wonder when we're going to get the spark, and uh, we just need to do it right here. One thing we have to do is uh, we've seen a couple of big penalties not go our way, a couple of hands to the face. If you're number 72, you got to watch that. Try to keep your hands a little low because they're looking at you. Austin Scott in the lineup for Valdosta State, two receivers each side of the field. First and 10 to 25, Caden wants to throw. He does, Shontavious has the ball, trying to get some help and spins off one hit and gets across the 30 to the 31 yard line. The pass is complete to number one, Shontavious. One thing I like, uh, Shontavious does not seem to be, Charles, all that concerned about going over the middle, yeah. running or catching. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Shontavious, once he catches the ball, he's going, and he follows his convoy for a little bit. Uh, and got straight up the field to gain a pretty good amount of yards on that play. Six yards on the play, be second and four for the Blazers, trailing 23 to 14, 11.45 to go in the third quarter. The winner of this game will play next week in the semifinals. The loser's season will end. Need four yards to keep the drive going here. Caden has time to throw, looking to throw downfield, and the catch is made. Jared Ford at the 40. Big catch by Gerald Ford. Big catch as he's catching it a lot of times this year. One catch previous to this one, but a big catch by Gerald Ford. Gerald's been a little bit quiet this game, and uh, to their credit, that's only his second catch, I think. But, Dick, maybe that's what we need. Do a little bit of uh, just open it up a little bit. Absolutely. I mean, one good thing about this offense for Rallis State, we can open it up on the passes. Chris Anderson and Gerald Ford on the near side. Quintavious, Shontavious on the far side with Quinn Robertson. Blazers have it first and 10 at their 39 yard line trailing 23 to 14. Going to run it this time with Austin and they bottled him up pretty good although he fought forward for about two and a half yards. Yeah, of course the, the main runner Cedric O'Neill on, the, on the today has ran really well and we haven't seen a lot of Austin Scott. O'Neill's a little bigger, 197 compared to Scott's 172 but uh, this is about as good as anybody has done this season yeah. on Austin Scott. Second down for the Blazers in eight, trailing 23 to 14, 10 and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Kane wants to throw. He does downfield. Got his man down there. What a catch. Touchdown, Shontavious. Oh, man, what a throw and even a great, great catch. That's what I'm talking about, guys, right there. That's what we're talking about. That might put the fire right back into him. You talk about the fire gone. That might put the fire right back into the crowd, into this team, and Ralph State Blazers. Charles, if you don't have that height, that speed, and those long arms, me, me and you are not going to catch that ball. And, and Ed's not going to catch it. Hey, his arms uh, what made him catch that thing. They went out there about six feet. This to make a 23 to 21. Jake Walker, snap, a whole good kick is up. Good. Blazers cut the lead to 23-21. Charles on a beautiful pass play. Now, hold on, let's get the kick off here and we'll get the details on that. There's Jake's kick, it's a bouncy kick. It's gonna bounce and pick, picked up at the seven at the 20 and go down to about the 22. Absolutely, and on that last drive, uh, Ford of Alasa State on that scoring drive, four plays, 75 yards, a minute, 56 seconds used up, and that was the 12th catch of the touchdown catch of the year for Shontavious Jones to tie, tie Gerald Ford for the lead uh, of this team in the reception for touchdowns here, 37 yard catch. Blazers need a good defensive stand here. The offense came out clicking on that drive, and. Here they come, but boy, this, this is a scary bunch when they walk on the field. Quick handoff breaks to the room. It's the 40. It's going to be a foot race. 
Trying to get him at our 30. At the 25, at the 20, still on his feet, and he's going to be hit and go down inside the 10-yard line. I never saw who had the ball. Number 26, Tyrone Davis. And I'm telling you, it's just that it's just amazing. You think you gained a little momentum back there, Charles, and boom. Yeah, I tell you, I tell you what, you think you got momentum and you they they can shove it right down your toe right from there. I did not even see it because I, I just looked up and all of a sudden I see him breaking clear. So now they're first and goal at Van Austin State's nine yard line. See if we can get a stop down here and good tackle from behind there from Van Austin State. A couple of them. That's uh, Tevin Davis is one of them. And I think that's uh, Larston. They got about a yard on the play. Clock's running, 935 Blazers trail by two. But they're trying to get that touchdown. We scored right back. Quarterback keeps it, and he's going to get to about the six or the seven. A whole bunch of Blazers there on the tackle. Good part about this, they can't get a first down. So, hey, four down territory right here. And if we hold them to a field goal, I like our chances of coming back down and scoring another touchdown. They've got to get it into the end zone here. Got to, they, they throw the ball at the appropriate times, and this seems like to me maybe to be a spot to try to throw the football. Matt Pierce out on the far side with and Isaiah Gresham out there covering two guys. they got one receiver on the near side. Quarterback keeps it, and he's not going to get there, so they will have to try for three or six points and see what the coach is going to do. Looks like to me you take the points in this game because every point would be seem to be critical, but they're not leaning that way. Here they go. And watch out for the fake for this team. I tell you what, right here, because they're not. It seems like they're not scared to try anything to try to get points, more points put on the board. This to make it a 26-21 lead with 8:25 to go in the first uh, in the third quarter. Just don't want to jump off sides or anything. Give them a, ch a chance to think about it. Snap, hold, kick, all are good. 26, 21, 8, 10 to go in the third quarter. Another good defensive stand there, Charles, for the Blazers. Hold them to three. And Valosta State trailing now by 26 to 21, 8, 0, 9 to go in the third quarter. And see if we get a short kickoff for a return here from Matt Pierce. Man, we, we I don't That's know, the not, wind got it. The wind got it. He's gonna take the knee and he's not He's not happy. He is not happy. Those guys, Charles, they want to always return him. I was saying, a great defense to stand really for the Blazers. Yeah, absolutely. You see Matt Pierce, actually he got a little upset because I think his guys thought that he was also gonna take a knee and he's like, I want to come out of the end zone, but it was safer enough to come out and to just take a knee. Well, like, like his choice, though, guys. Like his choice. Let's just try to put something together here. Build on that momentum of that last score. Here's Sean Tavius going far side again. Coverage over there with uh, Oliver Davis again. He's a quick back, but he's 5'9", so a huge height difference there. Deep right slippers and much more. I believe Austin Scott remains in as the running back. Caden's going to throw. He's going to throw, catch his man, and he dropped it. Sean Davis wanted to run just a little bit too quickly. And, and, and guys, you wonder how he made that, that catch last time and drops out when it's just don't, no figure. He tried to turn and run before he caught the ball. I think that's what was a big part of it. Uh, but he's going to get that cushion every day, all the time, especially when he has a, a guy that's 5'9 on a 6'4 guy. Six, second and 10 for the Blazers. Caden and Austin Scott's the lone running back. Austin's been very quiet today. Caden looking to throw. Out here, got a man out there. Gerald Ford can't make the play. He's a little bit far out of bounds there. Not his, uh, not his mistake. Look straight down the middle of the field. You see Quinn roll. Look, Quinn. And no one. I think you still see a lot of college quarterbacks who just haven't got that gift yet of. of yeah, noticing that just to look, uh, I mean, sometimes they look to one and look to the second option, but they look, they can't look to the third option. Uh, it, it seems like, you know, he's going down two options, but not getting to that third just yet. Blazers need a first down or they're going to go three and out. Five receivers for Valdosta State. Got to get it to the 40, 35-yard line. Caden, pressure out of the pocket. He's going to run for it. He's going to get the first down, I think, as yes, he will. 
And that's a good run there by a good re read by Caden that time, Charles. Absolutely. Great, great way to make it back up, especially with your quarterback. I think Caden Carpenter kind of knows, you know, I got to start making these passes happen because we can't leave points on the field. 26-21, Carson Newman leads Valdosta State with 740 to go in the third quarter. Austin Scott back in the lineup for the Blazers. Three receivers, near side, one on the far side. Blazers are going from left to right, trailing by five points here in the third quarter. Out here in the flat, Quinn Robertson makes the catch and spins forwards, picks up nice yardage, about five. Absolutely, about five yards for Quinn Robertson, the guy uh, who had to step in today's game and, uh, you know, step up just a little bit more after we're, we're losing Reginald Lewis for today's game. Chris Anderson has played uh, the whole game for Valdez State in, in replacing uh, Reggie. He's had two, three catches early in the game, but since then, uh, not really too much. Second down five for the Blazers, 6.55 to go in the third quarter, trailing 26-21. Caden out here in the flat. Low catch pass. is made, low pass, and Quinn cannot get the first down, so it's going to be third and about uh, two. That was a very low ball. Uh, looked like Caden Cocker was just sitting back there. He got the ball set, and it just came out of his uh, hand just a little bit loose. It made the difference, guys, between uh, not getting the first down, I think. Well, I know who I'm throwing to. Uh, Blazers trail 26-21, 6.20 to go. Gonna run it. Scott has the first down on and fumbles the football and the Blazers get it back. Show oh, Shontavious Jones, bless your heart over there. But, uh, let me ask you this. Did his forward motion? What's gonna happen? Uh, it's fourth down. Okay, that's what I'm getting at. He, the ball came yeah. back. Fourth down for Valdosta State. Now Coach Dean's gonna have to punt the football. Boy, had the first down. Austin Scott did Charles and dropped it. Yeah, absolutely. That's the first time we're seeing, uh, you know, a, a, a great freshman back in Austin Scott actually look like a freshman on that play. Need a big punt here from 99, Dominique DeMasi. It's a fake for Valdosta State. They've got it into 50 to 45 to 40. Cuts back in at the 30. Has some blocking, gets to the 22 yard line. A great fake from Valdosta State. And the run was made by Trocon Gay, the linebacker. And I like it. I like every piece of that right there. And great blocking and great uh, read by Coach David Dean over there. Gutsy call for Coach Dean, and he, he just has a knack for doing them when we're least thinking about it. Yeah, when you need them. And we needed it right there for momentum and for this team, for our Valdosta State Blazers. I think that might be the push over the top to get this team back fired up. At the 22-yard line, nine, five minutes and to go in the third quarter. Blazers survive a fake punt. Or take advantage of that fake punt, let's hope. O'Neill with the football. Inside gets across the 20 down right at the, just inside the 20, be second down and nine. Number or second down in about uh, seven, let's say. And uh, I'll tell you what, though, we got momentum, but uh, their defensive, uh, those front three guys are standing us up right now. Yeah, absolutely. But if we take care of the ball, you would think that this offense for Valdosta State, as the passes was going, we have the momentum behind us. Two receivers for the Blazers each side of the field. Caden wants to throw. He does downfield. Almost intercepted again, but a little bit low that time for Shontavious. Nick, I'm telling you, Shontavious had four steps on him and had to, again, the ball was uh, a little behind him and low. Absolutely. So, yeah. Gerald Ford was on the safe route underneath. Uh, Shontavious was on the other go route uh, behind him, and that ball was just a little bit low. If he went through a little bit farther ahead so Shontavious could be the only one, I think it would have been a touchdown. So here we go. Big one, third and eight. 420 to go in the third quarter. Blazers trailing by a score of 26-21. Had a fake punt and they have sort of stalled here after the big on the fake. Caden drops back, looking to throw, looking to throw. Plenty of time. He's going to run. Now he throws it inside at the 10, at the 5. Touchdown, Valosta State. Chris Anderson with the catch. Good Hits job. The Blazers. Boy, I thought he might have been over the line. No, I was watching that, Dick. He was not over the line. No flags. Touchdown, Blazers. I'm glad that you were watching it because me and Dick up here, we're looking at each other and trying to figure out if he was over the line of scrimmage. Great 
awareness by Caden Cochran to get the ball out of his hands. That Austin State with the 27-26 lead. 409 to go. And I'm telling you, this game as advertised. But maybe not as advertised. Yeah. Kicks up and good. it is good. 27, 26. That Austin State leads it. Four minutes and nine seconds remaining. Blazers with the lead. Now here's the kickoff from Jake. A little shorter this time against the win from the eight-yard line. And he's going to be hit hard right there. Oh, man, what a rip that number 20 Theseus Jackson put on him. And he's still on the ground there, number 16. Hope he's all right. David Freeman. Whew. Uh, that was a big hit by Shontavious. I mean, by, not by Shontavious, but by um, Theseus Jackson. To, he put a layout in a legal hit on that kid right there. And we obviously want the kid to be okay, but it was a good football lick. Nothing, nothing, nothing wrong with it. They're checking on him. They got all their training staff out there. And the injured player is number 16, David Freeman. Let's give him a good round of applause. As he makes play this, this is where sportsmanship comes into play for both teams because you see you still have respect because the young man is playing a, a tough game of football. Uh, and all you do is wish him well, but once the helmet comes back on, you try to play football again. Absolutely. We'll update you, it's 4.04 to go in the third quarter. Valdosta State 28, Carson Newman 26. Carson Newman has the football first and 10 from its own uh, 13 or 18-yard uh, line. This is the first play after the kickoff. They bring a guy in motion. Haven't done that much today. Option down the line, quarterback pitches it. There's a flag over on the far side. They get good yardage. And the Blazers, no flag because we actually We were trying to hold him up. Hold him up. There is a flag, I thought. Uh, yeah, it's right there at the line of scrimmage. Number 74 was holding. So. Personal foul, shot block. It's a chop block on that. That'll cost him 15, Charles, on I the think, personal I think foul. that's the second time this year we've seen that. Huh? Yeah, but Charles, I want y'all to know 74 was on the field. Okay. All right. Basically, that'd be half the distance, so it won't be a full 15-yarder. Moves it down to about the 7, 8, 9-yard line. But we look at all these things as breaks, guys. We've got to take advantage of it. Absolutely. It's uh, first down and 19. Clock's running again, 350. for the Eagles. Brandon Hayward, their fine quarterback. The big part about this right here is giving our defense a break. Last time they were well, down here, Charles, they broke one for about 50 yards on us, though, so this is a tough area to cover. Hayward brings it back in motion. Hand off inside. This time, Blazers recognize it and stop him after about a two, about a three or four yard game. It'll be second down, and uh, still a long ways to go, probably 12 or 13. Not only is the momentum starting to turn for us, but you're starting to see the offense not run as fast as they used to, which is giving our defense a break. They're switching out men, um, and, and that helps us in the long run. Second and 15, they say. They stay, or they just don't vary off this offense. They go under center every single play with those two backs, and why not? They're great rushing team number one in the country. Quarterback rolls back against the grain. He wants to throw. He's being chased. We got him back there, and he throws it out of bounds. Well, he threw it into the stands. But he got it across the line of scrimmage barely. Tevin Davis was pursuing him, and if he could have had that right arm, that would have been a huge sack, but it's third down. As long as you're out of the pocket and throw it past the line of scrimmage. Yeah, and that's the key. Get it past that line of scrimmage. Uh, and then you've seen the referee look back and see where the line of scrimmage was at. This is credited with a hurry on Crowds on their feet, 2.46 to go into the third quarter. Huge play for both teams, third, third 15. They dropped, there's a flag, and there's procedure on Carson Newman. That's going to cost him five more to make it third and 20. And this crowd is getting loud. They were starting to get behind us. Yeah, can you all hear them behind me? Oh, yeah. absolutely. One thing we have to look out for, though, is you know they can break a long run every time, so we have to watch out for that. Just recognize, stay contained, and know who has the ball. Following the penalty, it's now third down and 20. Huge play. They got to get it out to, the, out to their own 28-yard line to keep the drive going. Just a straight inside handoff and not going to go this time, so the Blazer defense should get a big ovation coming off the field and they'll have to punt the football to Quinn Robertson. 
Quinn's come close the last few weeks of breaking him. Get the crowd in it. That's what's happening right now. Look at him. Look down out of the press box, guys. So now if we could get great field position, their punter standing right at the two-yard line. Quinn standing just across the 50 at the fort that they're or our own 49. Snap. High kick. Quinn's backing up. It's a good kick. Makes a kick at the 32. Going to the far side of the field. He's trying to get there's a flag already. Didn't even have to look far for that one. There's a helmet on the ground. Flag in the air. Helmet on the ground. Da, 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 da. So that's going to cost Valdez State more than likely 10 yards. I don't know. The, the helmet of Valdez State player came off. Let's hopefully it goes against Carson Newman. Have you ever seen a punt play that if, if it wasn't offsides or I mean illegal procedure, <laughs> it goes against the punting team? What? He gets penalized for his helmet coming off and then continuing to try to make a play. Now, I'm sorry, folks. That's one makes, of the stupidest rules I think no you sense. could. It makes it's no just, sense to me at all. It's just, it, it's, it's amazing. I did not know that was a rule, by the yeah, way. I, I guess I, I should have. That must have just came. I, I don't. I know it's for safety reasons, but. Where are the flags at on the, on the pants? I thought, it, I mean. Knocks and moves the ball all the way back to the 27. Maybe I stupid's a, a bad thing to say, but it, it just, you know. I know it's a safety rule, but guess what? It, it, maybe it should be something. <laughs> it, it should be a, a personal foul. I agree. Lord have mercy. Here we go. Caden's under. Got uh, O'Neal back there with him. Two receivers each side of the field. Caden wants to throw out here in the flat. Catch is made. Gerald Ford with the catch. Picks up some decent yardage. Number 19, Gerald Ford. Take just a moment. I think my family, son's family out in Utah, or in Utah, where it's probably snowing again, listening to us, and maybe even watching it on the on the uh, web with the blade. 28, 26, minute 25 to go in the third quarter. O'Neill with the football. Crosses the 35 and still fights forward. Now it's going to be third and short for Valhaw State. Need a couple of yards for the Blazers. Clock's running at a minute 10. They're having a tough time stopping O'Neill today um, on the offensive side. Keep going with them until they, they do try to stop him. He's getting us down and getting us close to the goal line every time. Just need a couple yards here. Blazers remain in the shotgun. Toss it. O'Neal, left side, cuts inside. First down, still on his feet, trying to get to the corner. Breaks the tackle. He's at the 50, the 45. And they run him out of bounds and shove him out of bounds, but not too hard. <laughs> and and you, did, you did see the extra little shove, actually, when he was out of bounds. Uh, and didn't shove him enough, actually. But that was a great run by O'Neal. You see Katie Cargan waiting for the play to come in so they can try to run another one. Count your players, guys. 11, Tom. Thank you. That's what we play with. I know. We had 14 when I asked. <laughs> Thesis Jackson in there for the first time today as a wide receiver. Blazers first and 10 at the 46. Thesis goes in motion. Give it to him a handoff on the inside. And boy, they read that well. Going to lose a yard. What a, what a great try to trickery to get in there, though. I mean, yeah. this is what you want to do. You want to keep them guessing. And that was a great, you know, chance. This is Jackson. He deserved that right there as well, I must say. He's played well on special teams. Was it? Fourth quarter, guys. There's a snap to Caden. It's quarterback draw. He's got some room at the 40. Caden at the 35, the 30, 25, and dies down at the 22, 23 yard line. Tom had opened up like the sea there. That's what we would, That's what we used to see out of that play right there. Absolutely, great knowledge and great sight by Caden Carkin to get in there. He noticed what what it looked like. Nobody was open, so I'm gonna take it as the Red Sea parts, and I'm gonna go down and, and get some yardage off here. Trent McGuire comes in. He's a fullback that comes in and lines up in the backfield. Sometimes he'll line up. Right off of one of the uh, tackles. First and 10 for the Blazers at the 23. Caden, pass out in the flat. Got the catch out there. Gerald Ford at the 15, dives forward a little bit. Close to another first down at about the 13, 
14 yard, 13 yard line. It was so funny, Gerald Ford caught the ball and he didn't know he was that wide open as he caught the ball and he went down and got, got about six or seven yards in the play. So first down for Valdosta State, just underway in the third, fourth quarter, Valdosta State 28, Carson Newman 26. Winner goes on to the semifinals next week, next Saturday. O'Neill stops, cuts back in, and gets down to around the 10 yard line, turned Dick again. Picked up about three when he had really had nothing there, guys. You see how the momentum is starting to look like it's going in the favor of Alasta State. Let's see if we can get an end zone and really swing this momentum, but we have to hold them. It's still the fourth quarter. Diamante Ridley comes in, and O'Neill goes out. Ridley going to the far side. He's a receiver along with uh, Chris Anderson. Three receivers, empty backfield for Valdosta State. Five receivers. Play clock down to nine seconds. Caden with the snap, he's gonna throw. Looking, 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 all kinds of time. Just stand there, throws over there in the flat. Catch is made, gets down, he's had his knee down. Yeah, his knee was down, good call. And that's over there to Ridley. Caden was just standing there, he didn't know about yeah, five yeah. yards of him. Yeah, absolutely. Caden Cocker must love his offensive line right now. After this game, if, if we move on, uh, Caden Cocker has to take those guys out to eat or something, I don't know. <laughs> Ice cream. That's head of the You can't feed those guys. You can't, you can't feed them just ice cream, trust me. We take them to a buffet somewhere. Yeah, you got it. Third and three for the Blazers. Caden Cochran. O'Neill back in the lineup. Got to get it down to the three yard line. Caden rolling out. Wants to throw. He does throw. Catch is made. And, it's, and then he's hit out of bounds over there. Blazer fans wanted a flag and got men. They get a good spot, though, Tom. Yeah, they should have should have given it to him. Well, he got drilled. First down. First down. To stay first and goal at the three. Here's the best part about it. You need to sit back down where you were. We've been talking. I tell you what, I, I, the helmet came off out of bounds after the play, and it still counts as you know a play. You have to sit out. Gerald Ford had to sit down. What a great catch. So here we go, first and goal for Valdosta State, leading 28 to 26 with 12.40 to go in the game. Cedric O'Neill in there. Gonna give it to Cedric inside, Spins gets down to the one yard line. Here we I go think right you do here. that three times. Excuse me, Charles. We do that three times. We don't do anything different. You're absolutely right. Stick with what's working for you here in Valasa State. Great catch by Gerald Ford, but Cedric O'Neill down in this level right here. I would give it to him a couple of times. No way in the world. I don't think they hold him out of the end zone. And you're in that zone area where we got the quarterback sneak the last time. This for the touchdown. Caden goes going to go under center again. He drops the football, picked up, touchdown, touchdown Valdosta State. He picked up the fumble of Cedric O'Neill did for the score. Oh, man. Uh, that could have been a nasty, nasty play. But Cedric O'Neill having the, the nose for the football, he picks up the ball and gets in the end zone. Nick, that was the play that Herb and I designed this weekend <laughs> right there. Wow. The ball, the guys, the ball was just laying there. This is gigantic right here. This is to make it a nine point lead. From the freshman, Jake Walker. Snap, hold good. Kicks up. No. He missed it. Oh, that is, that's huge. It's instead of a nine point lead, it's a 34, 26, eight point lead. Kicks in the in the air and he's at the 25 to 30 and he's brought down just right at the 30 yard line. Again, they, they, they didn't holler at me. I wasn't quite ready for that kickoff right there. And I was doing something else. And I'm not. Didn't look like we kicked it ready for it. Uh, I was. I'm not saying it was a huge. It, it was gigantic. But that would have given Valdosta State a nine point lead, Tom, which means two scores. But now, I mean, eight points. They still have to score a touchdown. There's still 11:50 to go. So there's probably going to be more touchdowns than we want to think about the rest of this game. Absolutely. Our defense, uh, they're looking well right now, and they know this is a big key moment. It's still 11.44 left, but we turn the, we get them to turn the ball over here. We're in good shape. 34-26, they're starting at the 30. Handoff left side. Picks up about 
Well, four yards almost, really. Jeremy Grable there in on the tackle. Jeremy had a great part in that fake punt. But uh, the Blazers not able to take uh, advantage of that. Clock's running. I'll keep you up to date on that. 11.25 to go. Blazers with a 34-26 lead. Hand off left side. He's hitting the back. What a play. Breaks away. Still on his feet. Then he's going to be run down by a host of Blazers. And that's what you want to do to him, guys. Give that one to Lawrence Virgil. He just he had him and just his hands were slipping away. But Tevin was there, Davis. And I believe 31 was there. Also, Ryan Smith on that. So it's going to be third and nine. The crowd has really been very noisy. And the players appreciate that. They really want him into the game right now. And this is the first time you've seen this team go in the huddle. This is the first time yeah. you've seen them actually go to a huddle. Clock's running, 10.40 to go in the football game. Blazers trying to hold them here on third and nine. They've got to get it out at the 40. Under center. Going to drop back, throw, looking left. No, they're there. Throws downfield. He's got a man tipped away and almost intercepted. Tremendous play over there by Isaiah Gresham. Because it looked like Big 82, Tom, was going to make the catch. It looked catch. like he was going to make the catch, and Isaiah steps up. And then you said it, but we almost got an interception off the uh, ricochet. Absolutely. Uh, great play by the defense, by Los State. You see them get into that package. And I say again, it's another game in the second half. We come out, and we look like a totally different team. Quinn Robertson standing at the 30. Maybe it's see if it's Quinn time right now. He had a couple. He had a big one last week. Didn't get the touchdown, but it was a long one. Standing at his 30. This punter's done a nice job of really kicking some high ones. It's a fake. They're going to try to get it. They don't get it. The Blazers read it and stop it. That's what we're talking about, guys. I'll tell you what. I don't know if that was a great coaching call from them because now you give a potent offense for Valdosta State the chance in a good field position to score again. The Blazers will take over Tom first and 10 at the uh, 32-yard line. And Chaz Matthews in on the stop. Uh, you know, again, I wasn't thinking about the fake because it just didn't seem to be appropriate with 10.22 to go I, in the game. I, absolutely, especially with the field position that you're going to give a great team and a great offense like Valdosta State. But that's why we don't coach. Sean Davis again over here with single coverage. Caden going to give it to Ridley. Ridley to 30. Still on his feet, crossing right at the 30-yard. No, not Ridley, Austin excuse Scott. me. It's 23, Scott. Austin Scott. I didn't think Ridley would be in there, but it's good to see Austin. That was his best run of the day. Picks up uh, eight. And Austin Scott is so patient, especially with that delay handoff that Caden Cocking gives him. He sees a, a little crack, and he's going to get through that and get a yardage. Second down and two. We're inside 10 minutes, folks. Blazers lead it by eight. This is clock management. You got to score, but you also want clock management as well. Caden got Austin Scott to his right hand side. They're going to give it to Austin again, and he spins away from one tackle, and he gets the first down uh, right close to the first down. They may have to take a look. I think they're yard short, Tom. Yard short, Dick. So it's third down. I, Valdosta State, by the way, is in four down territory. We're not going to try the field goal. At this point, I uh, sure you, even with the wind to our back. This is a big, 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 big moment uh, in the game. Uh, I tell you, you get a touchdown here, you put them on edge, they have to throw the ball, and they're a running game, running type of ball offense. Sean Tavius goes to the far side with uh, Gerald Ford, Anderson, and Robertson on the near side. Caden rolls away from it. Now he's trying to get away. He's going to be sacked. As a, as a snap was a little errant, guys, really is what happened there. Did you uh, notice, Tom? That was a bad snap. I mean, yeah. the snap didn't do what it's supposed to. He had to struggle to get the ball through the whole time and off. So now the Blazers facing a fourth down and uh, eight, and without question, we'll go for it here. Got to get it down to the 22. This is this is big right here, of course. Clock's running. It'll be inside eight and a half minutes on the snap. Blazers lead at 34 to 28. Empty backfield, five receivers. Take your pick. Caden gets some protection. Looking, looking, all kinds of time. Looking, looking, throws down there. Wide open. Touchdown, Quinn Robertson. Nobody within 20 yards of him. And that was a great play. At the line, I must say again. Yeah. 
giving him as much time as he wants. He just stood there quickly, just standing there, Charles. Hey. The only thing you think about, Tom, don't drop. Hey, and people are now sitting here looking and just saying, throw the ball, throw the ball. Number 19 would still had 10 yards here, and we didn't even see him downfield. This to make it 41 to 26. Snap and hold good kicks. Good. Good this time. 41 to 26. Fat Austin leads with 8.08 to go. Blazers extend their lead. Eight minutes to go in the football game. Deep kick. No return on this one. Out of the end zone. So good job there from Jake that time. And the Blazers with the lead of uh, what's that? 15 points, 41 to 20. It's hard to read that guest score thing over there. It looks uh, like 41 26. It 40, is 26. 41 26 with 808 left yeah. in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Play an inspired ball. And guys, uh, Dick, you can give credit to the students. If you look up there, they did come out. Absolutely, Dom. They, they, and thanks to them. And, and really, that's the section to the right of the press box, which usually we don't have many people in. So a lot of people came. The seat's in the middle where we have the problem. Been a good crowd. That's a noisy crowd. That's all we care about at this point. Blazers with the lead. They just want to hang on here and slow. Don't let no, any kind of Carson Newman, because they can they can move quickly. He wants to throw. Throws downfield. We got a chance to intercept it and just underthrown. It would have been intercepted, Tom. Yeah, and this is the thing, guys, that we wanted, we wanted to force them into doing this, Charles. Is yep. to, to, this is not what they're used to doing uh, right here. Absolutely. This, this one thing that you want to – this forces them into a throwing situation. They can't run the ball and expect to come back and try to win this game. They have to throw it. They're not used to that. But they also broke a couple long runs on us, too, so – it's at the 25-yard line, eight minutes to go in the football game. Van Austin State 41, Carson Newman 26. Option, wants to throw downfield, looking, looking, looking. He's hit, the ball's on the ground. The ball's on Blazers the ground. Blazers got it. Blazers come up with State it. Has it, Thompson. The Blazers have it. The Blazers have it. Jeremy Grable with the football. They got the quarterback's arm there, Tom, just before he released it. Didn't see who did it. Jeremy, Jeremy Grable recovers the ball there, and that's a big play by Jeremy Grable to recover that ball. I tell you what, this defense, they came out yeah. in the second half again this game to have a big half. But Los State is playing this fiery ball, like Tom said earlier. Robertson. And Anderson go far side. Shontavious and Gerald Ford on the near side. Blazers just want to eat some clock here at their 25-yard line. I think it's going to be Cedric O'Neill time. And he fumbles the football, falls on it. Falls on top of it. You actually seen that happen. The guy grabbed his arm, and as soon as he grabbed his arm, uh, the ball comes flying out. But good, great sight and great uh, knowledge by him uh, to get back on top of the ball. As you see Cedric O'Neill point to himself saying, my bad, team. Seven and a half minutes to go. Blazers can run the clock down right to the seven-minute mark. Can we talk to anybody? Uh, yeah, I'll get with you after a little bit. 7.20. Clock's running. This may be just Cedric O'Neill time. Kane's going to throw it, though, out here in the flat. Anderson... Try to avoid a tackle. Gets close to the first down. It's just about one yard short, Dick. Just inside a yard over there on the far side. So I have to give uh, Chris Anderson credit. He's done a nice job today. He's got Chris Anderson. For him to, to grab the ball and then try to run over yeah. the back, that was a great play. And the thing about it, we, we all will admit himself, too, he's not Reggie Lewis, but he's they threw it to him today. He's caught it. He's made some nice plays for us when we need him. Now we need the first down here to keep this drive going. Clock's at 6.35 to go in the football game. Blazers 41 to 26. O'Neal with it. Outside first down, 10. O'Neal 5, O'Neal touchdown. That'll do it, folks. 47-26, O'Neal's fourth touchdown of the day, I believe. O'Neal, uh, I'll tell you what, he's racking up the yards here. And he's racking up the That's four. That's it. Oh, three today, three rushing touchdowns. He's two touchdowns behind the school record right now, O'Neill is. This to make it 48. 
26. Good. And it does. We'll take 60 seconds on the Blazer Radio Network. All right, Jake Walker. How about Cedric? Here's the kickoff. Another one goes through the end zone. The Blazers lead at 48 to 26 with six minutes and 29 seconds. And I don't know where to start here. Uh, 510 total yards for Valdosta State's the sec the most ever in postseason, second most ever in postseason uh, play. We know that uh, with, we're trying to check, but we're pretty sure Cedric O'Neill has probably reached 200 yards rushing today. If not, he's right on the number. And with now the touchdowns, sec 1,055 rushing yards for a true freshman. Hand off off the left side. Don't want them to let do anything real crazy and score a quick touchdown. Down to the 40-yard line, the clock's running. Uh, it stops while they move the chain. And we know this team at any point in time could break off for a huge run. Absolutely. It's a 22-point lead for the Blazers. It's first down, well, not a first down. This picks up good yards. It's three scores and a two-point conversion to tie the football game, I believe would be right, in six minutes. Actually, be inside six minutes right on this spot. Hand off off the left side. And they're picking up some, some chunks of yardage here. The Blazers, there was so much emotion with that defense, some great plays, and possibly with the big lead, you would hope there's not a letdown, but. One thing that's not in their favor, though, is this, that they run the ball, so it takes time off the clock. That quick handoff pitch at the last second. They got the back there, and he's going to be run down. But we don't mind if they eat some clock up. 26 act like he couldn't get back to the huddle, but I think he was creating most of the problem himself. He was trying to act like he wasn't down. Inside five uh, minutes and 20 seconds to go in the game. Valdosta State 48 to 26. Brandon Hayward, their quarterback. Give it to the back off the left side. They had the first down right on the button, it looks like. Cedric, the first thousand yard rusher, rusher since 2007. Great fake by the quarterback and a good play there by Jeremy Grable Charles. So that could have been a huge, huge run right there. Even though that they get the first down on that play right there, still a great play by Jeremy Grable to save uh, probably an extra 10 yards. The clock's running inside four and a half minutes when they snap it this time. They just don't seem ever to be in any real big rush. Inside handoff, he's hit the line of scrimmage after a couple yards game. And Douglas Valos the State is going to advance to the semifinals, one game away from the national. And we don't know what we're doing. And we don't know where we're going. I mean, we we know we're we hear that more than likely Valos State will be traveling next week. Yeah, Mankato is up ten to three at half. And if you're not familiar with Mankato, that means Minnesota. And a good play there by Dominique Wheeler. It means it's it's uh, it's December and it's Minnesota, and it, and they do not have an indoor stadium, which means it's going to be cold, Charles. Now, I, I'm yeah, I'm not a meteorologist, but I would assume it's not going to be like this. And I'm not going to have a heater on. I would assume we're at three and a half minutes, and I feel comfortable that Valdosta State's going to win this game. And another outstanding performance threw it behind a receiver over there, incomplete. And this will be fourth down. Uh, I know it's cold because Dean and my wife has some family that lives in Minneapolis. We lived in North Dakota, which is fairly close to Minnesota. So it's going to be cold, Charles. So bring your big jacket. Give me a name, Dick. 
Here's fourth down. Drops back. Looks to throw. He's hit. He throws. And incomplete. The Blazers will take it over and just run out the clock here. And they will call a timeout, 48 to 26. Charles, I guess it, I mean, Chris, or what you name, Tom, it, it depends on who they get for the media. Yeah, I got you. Um, and then once you find that out, Tevin Davis, we know, is out of the question. They'll grab him, I would think. Uh, and we'll just, if we'll wait and see, uh, we know O'Neill's not going to be available. Uh, uh, I'll ask Sean why you go to break. Hey, uh, let's go. Well, Chris Pope probably going to go to the media center, you think. 21 tackles of the game. Five people who purchased their seats. Chris Pope with 21 tackles today, which is the second most in school history. Handoff, or a quick keep by Caden O'Neill, picks up good yard. Tom, let's. Uh, it's a gain of six yards. I don't think he'll go. I right, Sean. Let's get Caden. Uh, okay. Uh, Charles, would you check with Sean and see if he's if, if he's not available, who might be that we can talk to in the media center? The, the, they select certain number of athletes to go to the media center after the game. Uh, so some of the, the defensive guys we've talked about, we know Cedric O'Neill, who's had a tremendous day. You know, Cade's just is played well, just done a nice job. He's just been a leader out there on the field. So... If we can get him, we will. Good run there. Austin Scott makes the turn around the 45. Tom, uh, get Caden after the game. Sean said that'll be good. Okay. Uh, with today's win, the Blazers will advance to Nick Saturday's national semifinal round. The NCAA will announce tonight the semifinal sites. VSU will post potential semifinal information on the website, BStateBlazers. Dot com as soon as information is available. If VSU is selected as a host, site tickets will go on sale Monday, tentatively at noon. Season tickets holders will have until Wednesday at 5 p.m. to purchase their seats. Would that be nice? And so it's not a given yet. And there's the snap. Not going to get a first down. It doesn't matter. It's a first down play. We'll be inside two minutes on this play. And Valos to stay. What a heck of a win. 48 to 26 should be the final score. And Valos to stay will move on to the semifinals. The first time that we've been this far since the 2007 national championship season. And if I remember correctly, Tom, that's the year we went up to Pennsylvania. That's it. When we had the snowball fight. And had one of the great catches in the history of Valosta State. Uh, and Zach Parker's here today. Zach Parker's here, and they made Sports Center highlights. And they reviewed it. That's because Charles start next week, uh, being an ESPN game, uh, plays will be reviewed. Yeah. Uh, we had one we thought we scored on up there, an interception. We got turned down. Zach's was obviously a touchdown, but they reviewed it to confirm it, so we're at the big time now. It would have helped us today, you know. So, yeah. Yeah. So what a great afternoon for Valdosta State, Coach Dean, and all these coaches that put in tremendous hours and get little credit. Thanks for the, for the students who came out today and the crowd again. Just a noisy, noisy crowd, Tom, and uh, it's, it's amazing how much noise about 4,000 people can make. Absolutely, we'll take it. And we're just going to run this clock out here in the final 40 seconds, and O'Neill with the football, and Craig is in there replacing just to finish up the game, Graham Craig is, and that probably will be the final play of the football game at Valdosta State. Is going to get the win one game away from the national championship.
final round. The NCAA will announce tonight the semifinal sites. BSU will post semifinal information on the athletic website. That's www.vstateblazers.com as soon as information is available. If BSU is selected as a host site next weekend, tickets will go on sale on Monday, tentatively at noon. Current season ticket holders will have until Wednesday at 5 p.m. to purchase their seats. At this time, all kids age 5 through 8th grade are invited down to the field to play catch with the Blazer quarterbacks as part of the Junior Blazer Showtime.